Good afternoon, uh, boys and girls. Welcome to grade four science and technology lesson today, uh, 10th of June, 2020. I want to take you through uh, the topic, uh, the, uh, the strand that is called living things. And today we'll concentrate on a classification of animals. So animals, are classified into two groups. Remember, this is just a revision of what you have covered. So uh, we'll go very fast, but I want you to make sure that you understand each and everything that I'm saying. So those animals that have uh, backbones are called vertebrates. And you can see the vertebrates. We have the reptiles, we have the fish, we have the birds, we have the mammals, we have the amphibians. And then the animals, that have no backbone. They are called invertebrates. And so we have examples of, uh, there are so many invertebrates, but uh, in this class, we are just going to concentrate on the, 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 the insect part. So, uh, so these animals have no backbones, but the common invertebrates are insects. So these are the ones that we are going to talk about. And I hope you all of us are familiar with the insects. You can Google and find out more about the insects. But the common insects are like mosquitoes. These ones you see every day in your houses. We have house flies. We have, uh, we, we are, we have termites. We have so many insects. So go and check them. We also have other insects, other animals, small animals like tick, spider, mite, worm, snail, slang, millipedes centipedes and crabs, there are so many. So these invertebrates, sometimes we call them small animals. We call them small animals. Insects have three body parts. And this is the, the main difference between an insect and others. Because the insects have three body parts, you can see the head, we have the thorax, we have the abdomen, and they also have six legs. So the mosquito, houseflies, butterfly, moth, termite, weevil, they have three body parts and six legs. Whereas spider, mite, tick, and scorpion, they have eight legs and their body is divided into two. So that's the main difference between these two uh, uh, commonly, uh, the common invertebrates that we have. That one body temperature, uh, the, bo the, uh, the bodies, they are bodies are divided into two, others are into three, and have eight legs. Then, um, so we can continue. So um, the vertebrates, vertebrates are animals with backbones, as we have already said during the definition. And um, vertebrates can be classified into either cold-blooded or, or warm-blooded. So cold-blooded animals, uh, these are the vertebrates, they have been divided into five. They can either be cold or warm-blooded, as we have said. So we have birds, we have reptiles, we have uh, mammals, we have fish, we have reptiles. You can read through this, you can post this video and read more about these animals in that chat. So the cold-blooded animals, are um, the temperature vary or change according to the, uh, the, the, the surrounding of the environment. So they have varying body temperature. That's why we call them cold-blooded animals. So examples of cold-blooded animals are fish, amphibians, and reptiles. So remember that the vertebrates are divided into two main groups. We have cold and warm. So cold-blooded animals are fish, amphibians, and reptiles. So let's now look at the characteristics of both. Let's start with fish. Fish, most of you are familiar with this because I know you are, uh, normally eat fish. So that's how a live fish look like. Um, the characteristics number one, fish breathe through gills. So they don't have the lungs. They don't use the lungs as, 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 as they use gills to breathe. 
And this is what you have the girls there. The number two, fish lay eggs. They lay their eggs, and these eggs are laid uh, in water. They cannot lay on land because they are purely they live in the water. So they lay their eggs in water. They lay so many eggs in, in water. Number three, fish have fins that they use in movement. So they don't have legs. They are moving uh, or balancing using the fins. And you can see the fins. You don't need to know the, 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 the name of the fins. Just know that they have fins that they are using for movement. Then body temperature, as you have already said, varies with that of the surrounding. And then fish entire body is covered by scale. So they have scales in their bodies. And I want to charge you, tell your parents, to buy for you a live fish, the ones that have not been boiled or the ones that have not been, uh, been, been, been fried, so that you remove those scales so that you see how those scales are. Then lastly, they have external fertilization. That means the eggs that they lay are not fertilized. So examples of fish we have is Nile perch and tilapia. And so many fish, we have so many. We have shark, you can mention them. You can go to Google and check. The second uh, animals whose body temperature vary with the surrounding is amphibians. So amphibians have the following characteristics. Number one, they do not have scales. Their body is covered with moist skin. So they have moist skin. And make sure this is very, very you make sure you, you pay attention to this because uh, the difference between amphibian and fish is um, um, uh, that the amphibians have moist skin fish have scale they breathe using gills so they are still uh, when they are still young so amphibians when they are young they're using gills but when they mature they become big uh like a frog they they use lungs to breathe they also lay eggs in water but the what we are saying that like you said in fish these ones also have external fertilization. The eggs are fertilized externally. So examples, we have four examples. We have frog, we have newt, we have salamanders, we have toads. So those ones are the ones that we have. And the last one is reptiles. Reptiles have the following characteristics. First of all, you see the examples of reptiles. We have turtle, we have alligator, we have crocodile, we have snakes. So their characteristic number one is their bodies are covered with scale. They live on land and breathe using lands. Some live in water, e.g. turtles. They lay eggs. Now, the difference between, again, between the reptile fish and the amphibian is that the reptiles have internal fertilization. So they have internal fertilization. They are four limbs, except the snakes. Snakes don't have legs. So we have land reptiles. We also have water reptiles. Land reptiles are lizard, tortoise, and snake. Water reptiles are turtles, some snakes, and crocodile. I hope you have understood that. And after that, we now go to the warm-blooded animals. Warm-blooded animals are those animals that their body temperature do not change their body temperature is constant that does not vary with the surrounding whether it is cold or warm their body temperature does not change i know you are familiar with this because nowadays anywhere you go your body temperature is being measured and you will realize that for a human being the temperature is always between 35 and 36 constant unless you are sick so they don't have varying body temperature. So let's look at these examples. Number one, we have birds. So birds have the following characteristics. Number one, they lay, their bodies are covered with feathers. That's the main thing. They, and the, the, in the legs, they have scales. They breathe using the lungs. The eggs are fertilized inside. So they have internal fertilization. Their eggs are covered in a shell, and then the, 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 the young in the eggs feed on the stored yolk and albumin, that is the egg white. 
parents take care of the young ones. So they, you will see, even if you, you walk around, if you don't have chicken at home, if you walk around, you'll be able to see, uh, but uh, the, 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 the chicken, they are walking together with their young ones. So they take care of them. And then lastly, they have mammals. Mammals, uh, most of them are, most of the animals that we see around are mammals, except birds. And then uh, we also see this is like a baboon you are seeing there. Most mammals live on land. Although we have uh, sea mammals like whale, seal, and dolphin. Mammals that lives in uh, the sea or in the water, we call them marine mammals like seal. Their bodies are covered with fur or hair. So you look at your body, you find you have hair on your body. The mammals breathe uh, through lungs. They have four limbs walking. So, or two, two legs, for example, man, some walk on four limbs, for example, cats and cows, some fly using wings, for example, but, example bats. Bat is an example of flying mammals. Some hope or leap like the kangaroo, while others swim, for example, dolphin and whales. So these are the animals that we have. So they also reproduce by giving birth to young ones, although, some mammals lay eggs. Examples of egg laying mammals are dark bill platypus, spiny anteater. Mammals have internal fertilization. They feed their young ones by suckling milk, suckling milk from the mammary glands. That's why they are being called mammals, because they have mammary glands. So and that's the end of the, the, this topic a call classification of animals and i want you that after this now you go to class class in google classroom you're going to read uh, uh you're going to get 20 questions that have already been posted so i want you to go through them uh, uh watch the video there's a video there for 10 minutes watch it then now answer those 20 questions correctly by clicking the correct answers we have the choices so you have to click the correct answer and after that, you submit your work. I will be able to see how you have fared on. So thank you very much for listening. And I hope uh, to see you on Friday. Thank you. May God bless you. And may you keep safe.